that Baroness <laughs> Oe uh, actually predicted that neither Rishi Sunak nor Sajid Javid was going to be the next leader of the Conservative Party and the Prime Minister. So only a week has gone by mm -hmm. and you are already 50% uh, correct, Kate. Yes, and I'm very pleased that mm. I'm 50%. I'd like to be 100% mm. and that will take a little bit longer. But mm. uh, I think it, it, I'm quite pleased mm. today because I think actually uh, all four women have come through and uh, not just because they're women, because one of the good things about what's happened in the Tory party is that they seem to be able to get women and people from ethnic minorities without any kind of quota system. Yeah. So I'm pleased today and I think we'll see um, some other interesting results. I, I, I think it might just surprise everybody in the end what, what happens, but I don't think Rishi uh, um, Sunak will be Prime Minister. Well, I'm still I, saying that. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, the Tories would be happy, the Tory base would be happy no. about it. Just let me ask you this though, Theresa May had a, a little dig, I think, at uh, whoever was leader of the opposition back then, probably Jeremy Corbyn, mm. to uh, say that for all the bleating on the Labour side about identity politics, it's the Tories that actually make women uh, their leaders. Mm. Uh, why do you, why do you, I mean, we're, we're in a situation now where uh, the Labour mm. Party is led by what in normal circumstances would be criticised as old white men and it's the Tories yeah. that are diverse in the year go, go No, and it's, it's, it's interesting because while Labour did a lot of talking about, uh, you know, positive discrimination, had all women short this, yeah. all this kind of thing, the Conservatives just got on and, and it happened. And I think, um, you know, the fact that we could end up uh, there's a very good possibility now of have a th the Conservatives having a third woman Prime Minister and Labour hasn't had one. <laughs> it, it really does say something about maybe the whole way that they have tried to push this whole idea that you know the only way women can get on is by giving them special help and I've always been I always opposed women only shortlists I don't, don't agree with it so good let's let's see if uh, out of those four which one will end up as Prime Minister.